thrust. There is a difference when you press your thumb against a piece of paper and when you press the pointed end of a pin against the same piece of paper. The forces applied by the thumb and the pin are the same, but the effects produced are different. Similarly, there is a difference when you keep a heavy book vertically on a sand bed and when you keep it in a horizontal position on the same sand bed. The book goes deeper into the sand in vertical position than in horizontal position. In both the positions, force exerted on the sand is the weight of the book, but effects produced are different. In both the above-mentioned cases, force is acting perpendicular to the surface, that is, paper or sand. The force acting on an object perpendicular to the surface is called thrust. Even though thrust is the same, it produces different effects. This is because the effect of thrust depends on area on which it acts. The thrust on a unit surface area is called pressure. Pressure is equal to thrust divided by area. SI unit of pressure is Newton per meter square. It is also called Pascal or PA in honor of the scientist Blaise Pascal. Let us learn more about Blaise Pascal. Blaise Pascal was a French physicist and mathematician. He formulated what came to be known as Pascal's law of pressure. He modified experiments on atmospheric pressure by constructing mercury barometer and measuring air pressure. He invented the syringe based on the principle that came to be known as Pascal's law. Let us now see how pressure is exerted in fluids. Pressure in fluids. Liquids and gases are called fluids, that is, the substances which can flow. Fluids exert pressure on the base and walls of the container that holds them. It is due to the weight of fluid. Fluids also exert pressure on all bodies immersed in them. Pressure exerted in any confined mass of fluid is transmitted undiminished in all directions. Liquids are differentiated from gases by their properties of possessing a definite volume at definite temperature. Pressure exerted by gas. Activity. Take an empty can. Pour some small quantity of water in it. Boil this water for a few minutes until the steam has driven out the air. Now, close the can with a stopper tightly. Allow it to cool by pouring cold water over it. What do you observe? It is observed that the can collapses inwards. This is because the pressure of steam inside the can has balanced the air pressure outside the can. However, when cold water is poured over the can, the steam that is present inside the can condenses. At this point, water and water vapor is produced at very low pressure. Thus, air pressure outside the can becomes more than the pressure of vapor inside the can. Subsequently, the excess atmospheric pressure outside the can causes the can to collapse inwards. The air exerts pressure in all directions. The pressure exerted by a gas in a closed container is due to collision of gas molecules with the walls of container as molecules are in the state of random motion. The force exerted on unit surface area by the weight of air above it is the atmospheric pressure. It is also the result of collision of air molecules with any surface. The atmospheric pressure at a place depends on its height above the sea level. As we go higher, atmospheric pressure decreases due to the thinness of air. At sea level on the Earth's surface, the atmospheric pressure is about 10 
raised to 5 pascal. Even though the pressure acting on you is so large, you don't feel it because the pressure of blood and other fluids present in your body balances the atmospheric pressure. Liquid Pressure Activity Take three plastic bottles of different sizes and different diameters and mark them as 1, 2 and 3. On bottle 1, mark three holes at the same height. On bottles 2 and 3, make three holes at different heights and close all the holes of the bottles with tape. Fill the bottles with water. Remove the tapes from bottle 1. Observe the flow of water from the holes. You can see that the flow of water from all the three holes is the same. Then remove the tape from bottle 2. Observe the flow of liquid from different holes at the same time. What difference do you notice? The pressure of the flow of the water from the three holes will be different. This is because the height of the three holes is different. Similarly, observe flow of liquid from different holes of bottle 3. What difference is there with respect to bottle 2 and 3? The pressure of flow of water from different holes will be different because the heights of the holes are different. The pressure of the flow of a different liquid will be at a different rate because pressure is dependent on the density of the liquid. Have you ever had a swim in water? If no, you must have surely observed swimmers. While swimming, weight of the body is supported by water that is liquid pressure. The pressure at any point under the liquid is due to the weight of liquid column above that point. The pressure is exerted in a liquid on all sides of the container. At a given depth, pressure remains the same in all directions. Pressure is independent of size and shape of container. But it depends on the height or depth of the liquid. Pressure increases with depth. It also depends upon density of the liquid. 